Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, I am once again going to be showing you three super easy and effective ways to make money in Red Dead Online. So over this first week, it has become abundantly clear that outside of treasure maps, which is something we'll actually be talking about a little bit later, that the best way to make money in Red Dead Online is through hunting and fishing. It just seems as if it's the most efficient, easiest to do, and best bang for your buck. So today, we're going to be looking at three amazing locations that will allow you to make pretty quick money. Now, there's two things when hunting that we need to consider here. Number one is your proximity to a butcher, because that's where you're going to sell everything that you gather. So you could have amazing animals to hunt, but if it's in the middle of nowhere, it doesn't make sense. And likewise, you could be right next to a butcher, but if there's nothing to hunt, that doesn't work either. And that's the second thing. We want to have good quality animals that you can gather as well. So in the description, I'm going to leave a spreadsheet. It lists every animal in Red Dead Online and what you can get for selling their pelt, their carcass, any extras you might get, and the meat that you will get off of the animal as well. And it will tell you which ones sell for the most, which ones sell for the least, and which ones you should be targeting. Now, there's a couple that we're going to be going for in this video today. The first is going to be elks, bucks, and deer near Valentine. So Valentine has easy access to a butcher, which is super convenient. And also next to it is the Dakota River. Those three animals that I just mentioned, elks, bucks, and deer, are going to give you a lot of things to sell at the butcher. So for example, if you find a deer and it has a perfect pelt, it's gonna be $2.25. However, if you grab the carcass, which is could also be perfect, it's going to be $7. So that right there is pretty good. And it's also going to give you mature venison, which is gonna sell for 60 cents each. So it gives you a good idea of some of the things that you can acquire. Now, if you're lucky enough to find a buck, a perfect pelt of a buck is going to be $3.25, whereas the carcass will sell for $10. You'll also get buck antlers, which will sell for $1.05, and then you can get the mature venison as well. So if you gather everything from a perfect buck, that's gonna be $14.90. That is incredibly worth it. And if you grab everything from an elk, that's going to be $8.45. And that doesn't include the price of the carcass, which is something that you can also sell. And we haven't even mentioned the deer yet, which would even sell for more. That's $9.85 in which it can be sold for. So you can see there that those three animals are going to pay out a ton of money for their pelts, their carcasses, their meat, and the extras that you get. Now, you do have to be sort of smart about this because with these larger animals, you can only put one of their pelts on the back. So what I like to do is I like to find one large animal with a perfect pelt, and then I will use that. Or what I'll do is I'll find a lot of medium animals with perfect pelts, and then I'll find a larger animal with a perfect carcass that I'll put on the back. So you do sort of have to utilize your horse to its most efficient capacity. Now, if you do want to uh, find another wild horse, you can actually use that to transport meat. It works the exact same way in single player where you can put pelts and carcasses on the back of another horse. Unfortunately, you can't have temporary horses in online, but it still sort of works the same way. Now, another thing I like to do, once I've completely filled up my horse with something on the back, the side, all the pelts, is I'll look for smaller animals. So squirrels, birds, uh, skunks, possums, anything that you can fit inside of your satchel because those things you don't have to store on your horse and can store an almost unlimited amount on your satchel. And once you've figured you've got a full load, you just go back to the butcher and each run, which shouldn't take you more than about five minutes, is going to net you about 50 to $75 depending on what you got. So five to 10 minutes for 50 to $75 that is a lot of money. It doesn't sound like it, but in Red Dead Online standards, that is a lot of money. So that's your first location right there is sort of Valentine and the Dakota River. 
The second is going to be in San Denis. And we're going to want to go to this location right here. It's sort of an island on the east side, but it's also connected to the train tracks. Now there's a couple animals that you're going to find out here. You're going to find bucks as well, but you're also going to find alligators. Now, one thing that's going to make this work way better is a rifle. The cheapest rifle that you can get at the start of the game is the bolt action rifle. It's a little expensive, but I would recommend it because it's going to allow you to um, get perfect carcasses and perfect pelts for the alligators and also bigger animals. So once again, we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. You find yourself a perfect alligator, you're going to wanna to skin it, grab everything off of it, including alligator teeth or anything else you might find. Ideally, you'd actually like to be looking for baby alligators. Their pelts sell the same as a regular alligator, but with the baby alligators, you can actually pick up their carcass, which means you're going to get about $6.50 more uh, if you actually find those alligators. So that's what I would recommend doing. And just like our Valentine location, there's a lot of other smaller animals around, whether it's a bird like a heron or a pelican or a duck that you can shoot out of the sky or a buck that you can find as well. This is another great location in which you can find that. And the best part about it is the Saint Denis Butcher is only about a minute's horse ride away. You basically just take the same train track that you went from town to this location back into town and it will lead you right to the San Denis Butcher. So that is another perfect location for hunting and gathering nice animals like that. The third location, the final location we're gonna be looking at today is going to be in New Austin. Another reason why I like all these spots is they're nicely spread out. So this location is going to be between the P and the L of the Great Plains. Now in this instance, the main animal we're gonna be hunting here is bison. So this is why it's also important to have a rifle because the bison primarily will only be able to be taken out uh, with the rifle. So the same thing here. You basically just want to find a perfect three-star bison and once you've done that, you want to kill it, skin it, get all of its extras. It's gonna give you prime beef, bison horns, and that is going to give you a lot of money. It's around seven to eight dollars per bison that you get. Now there's also some other animals here as well, like bighorn sheeps. Bighorn sheep carcass is a perfect one, sells for seven dollars and fifty cents. That is really good. Also in this area, you're gonna find bucks, you're gonna find deers, you're gonna find elks as well. You're gonna find coyotes too. Coyotes can actually give you a lot if you're able to find a perfect one of those. So these are all really good animals in here. And I actually find it easier to hunt in New Austin because it's so flat. There's less trees, there's less rivers for something to run into. So this area makes things very easy and it's only about a minute horse ride away from the Blackwater Butcher, which is where you'll be able to sell everything. So you guys are starting to see the pattern here. You're trying to find the most profitable animals and at the same time, you're trying to find locations that are really, really close to a butcher. So for example, an animal that sells for probably the most amount of money is the cougar. However, the cougars are incredibly rare and hard to find. Their pelts sell for $5, perfect. Their carcass sells for $13.50, perfect. You get cougar fangs and big game meat for a total of almost $20, but how often do you find them? That's the really tough part. Same with the panther as well. They sell for around $4.75, but how often are you running across those? Now additionally, some extras that you're gonna earn from doing this have to do with XP and honor. So if you hunt with a bow or you just hunt in general, you are going to get a ton of experience points. I mean a lot. I'm not sure why Rockstar put so much priority in uh, hunting in terms of giving you XP, but they do. And that's actually really good news, especially for people doing this a lot. Now the next thing this is going to allow you to do is increase your honor. Every time you skin or pick up an animal, it's going to give you easy honor points. And you guys can see here that I actually became full good honor just by doing this. And this was able to get me another belt buckle and a ton of experience bonus, as well as all the cash that I was ultimately earning from this experience. So I would say that these three locations are probably some of the best in the game. I mean, it was such a prime spot in order to just find animals, quickly go to a butcher, and then sort of rinse and repeat. 
So I would actually recommend that you guys do this for yourself. It's one of the easiest ways to make money in Red Dead Online, and it comes with so many bonuses. So this sort of builds off of the video I did the other day, which had some animal hunting advice as well as some fishing spots, but these I'd say are way better than those. Now, a few more tips I can give you here. Number one, you don't have to sell everything. If you wanna keep the meat for yourself, that's totally fine by me. Uh, you can actually use it to cook and heal yourself, and that works perfectly fine too. Same if you're hunting birds. You know, if you wanna keep the flight feathers for crafting unique arrows, I'd recommend that you do the same. Now also, if you're having trouble finding animals, they spawn in the exact same locations that they do in single player. They're no different. So if you have a guide or an online map that shows you where the animals are located, they're gonna spawn there as well. But anyways, that right there is three more incredibly easy ways to make money in Red Dead Online. And uh, it's really, I would say, the best overall method as well, outside of treasure maps, which again, we'll be talking about a little bit later in the day. But I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Do you have any other really good hunting spots like this? Be sure to let us know in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.